putting me through it. So Sean is actually having to work really hard just to get a long way back. Let's just see what they're going to put in here and how the tactic they're potentially using these two teams to advance. Uh, you don't get that on a virtual show as they go into the. Uh, <laughs> Unless you get a mate to do it. Wow. Tails position is the last run for them today. And they're away as well. And they're thundering up this opening straight. It's going to be fast. 23 miles an hour. It felt faster than that. Board rider digging right in there. This is only going to end in two ways, ladies and gentlemen. They're either going to win the heat or at least do their best to push ahead. The speed across that diagonal was massive. Look at the work he did putting that to board, then he's tucked it back and stuck it out there. Okay, we'll sit in her cap. That's right. It helps the sheep as, as well as oh, Shearer. Yeah. So we're just going to turn the head back, we roll her over, and we get her sitting nice and comfortable. Now, when I go to the barber, I like to make myself comfortable. Same with the sheep. So we sit them not on their tailbones, that does hurt. And there's our short sheep. Hey! Woo! Right now, Shearer does have a few little problems to deal with, which you probably didn't notice. Now, quite often the front leg is tucked up like that. We want a nice flat surface there to work on. So what we do is we push this little button here, yeah, and um, the board rider so much swat on that, then he pulled the board rider over the front of the ball, 21 miles an hour. I mean, this track at the minute is a Going into 23 miles an hour. He's feeling confident. He's working very hard. His heel turn is coming along really well. And then the split. Do you think it's going to go? I don't know. And they're now going for the three cone weave. And I'm just looking at the pits. Charlie Boss is back. <laughs> 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 We have in fifth place, Wills and Cruz, in fourth place, Sean Wills, in the third place, John Wing it. Come on, Dixie! Oh, yeah. Yay! Munch. Now, Millie, Millie is also learning job, to do job. fly ball, so Millie's do going it. to have... Nicely through there. Look at that sharp little pony. 
just look at the draining of this pony, how they can act like a cat, tell me. They're so sharp that the directions that the drivers are giving them, they can just bend in a split second and turn. Like cats take the and she's through D. Now she goes round and gets E. Yes, now she can push up. She's just got five seconds put up. Flying. Here they come, come on, Jekyll and Hyde. Get behind them, come on. Woo! It's close, it's 64 to beat. 64 to beat, 54. They can do it, come on. Come on, the champions, come on, Claire. Very close, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm not going to do it now. My first cuckoo of 
know you're grumpy. Give me your head. I don't like it when you do this. I don't like it when you do this. Good morning. It's Friday. Thank goodness. Oh, hi guys. I um, My first job of the day is to check the feral ponies that we have on one of our marshes. And I've brought you with me because and when I was putting my wellies on, I heard a bittern. So I thought it would be great for you guys to see one, maybe. I've not seen one yet this year. I've heard a few. First one I heard was about two, three weeks ago at the yard. Racket Millie. Here are three of our feral ponies. Let's go find the rest of them and hopefully a bittern. So at the moment, I think there are 17 ponies on here and they are used for conservation purposes so they eat down the vegetation. They have a marshy bit here and here, a normal field bit here and a woodland bit through there. Um, some of them were eating some of the lower branches in there but they're usually kind of all together but today they aren't so I have to go up to each one or each small group count them, move them on, just to check if they're lame or anything, and then go from there. Good morning. No, you don't want a pet today? Okay, fair enough. Hi guys. <clears throat> Can you just walk on for me, please? Naughty pheasant! Can you hear them? I love them. Lapwings or peewits in Norfolk. <laughs> None out on here. Last time I came out on here, I nearly stood on a bitten. Because <laughs> um, they tend to hear you coming and then sit stock still until the very last second and I, yeah, I almost trod on it. Um, but can't see or hear one, apart from the lapwings, which are very noisy. <laughs> oh, damn it. That noise, uh, I managed to only get the last one that was a bittern. I hope the camera caught that. But it's coming from over here somewhere. And of course, none of the horses would be in there for me to go have a look. And he's not gonna do it again, cool. Good morning, ponies. Good morning. Can I count you, please? Good morning. How are we? So we had eight back there. If you could all stand still while I count you, that would be great. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's 17 of you, yay. Hello you. Yeah, I know. I know you're so feral. Yeah, you are so feral. Oh my goodness. The most feralist of ponies, the feral and ferocious ponies. How you doing guys? Oh yeah, good scratch. Oh yeah, butt scratch. <laughs> Are you following me? Yes. All right kids. Oi, no fighting. They all look happy to me. You're just hanging back with me, huh? Okay. That's very kind of you. No fighting! I'll, I'll probably do it when I'm back at the truck or back at my work site because you can hear it. You can hear it for a long, long, long way. It's like a booming, but 
obviously when you're here you get to hear the whole thing and it's really clear and it's amazing I still want to do it I feel like that kid That's a bitten. <laughs> oh, thank goodness for that. I didn't get to see one, but I'm pretty chuffed with that. Um, but as I was saying, I felt like the, the little spoiled kid from Shrek when he's like, do the rap. That's what I felt like then. But it, I got it. I got the roar. I got the boom. You guys aren't supposed to be in there.